Jared pulling Frono's photo. Dot com, and this is your. It's Turkey. Photo News Fix. This fix is brought to you by BH and their amazingly named Paybu credit card, as well as Black Friday and Cyber Monday deals. Now, do you remember this guy? No on cash but still need to get your boo? Well, he couldn't make it today because he's on vacation, so you're stuck with me. So what's PayBoo, you may be asking? Well, it's not exactly what you're thinking. It's a credit card that helps you save on tax. That's right, when you use your PayBoo card to make a purchase at B&H, you pay the tax, and B&H pays you back the same amount instantly. No points needed to redeem or no other mishigash. Or for those who don't know Yiddish, there's no craziness. Wild animal craziness. Think about it, if you spend $5,000 in camera gear and your tax is 8%, you're saving $400 and that's a big deal. Speaking of big deals, Friday is Black Friday and Monday is Cyber Monday where you'll get the best deals of the year when you head over to B&H. Just remember to take advantage of these deals before sundown on Friday as B&H closes for religious observations and won't be opening again until Sunday. To grab some deals and the PayBoo card, head on over to the link on the screen or down below. First up, remember when AirTags were released and I was able to hide one inside of my Sony A1's body by squeezing it in a little tiny space in the battery grip? Well, that's not exactly ideal, but it worked for me. But if you're looking for another solution for adding an AirTag to your camera or other things, a company by the name of Covered, spelled K-U-V-R-D, has you covered. You don't sound that impressed. My issue here is I always dyslexic their name and reverse the R and the V and thought that their name was actually called Curved, but it's not. Duh. Anyway, they launched to Kickstarter, and this is not a plug. I am not getting paid to do this news story, and you'll probably realize why a little later on. It's a holiday week, and there's not a lot of news. Nonetheless, curved, covered, wait, yes, n g g covered, Damn it. stop being dyslexic, Jared, launched the Cosmo caps and satellites. The Cosmo is an anodized aluminum body cap with a place to hide an air tag on the inside. It's also $50 on Kickstarter and $80 retail price, which is $42.05 more expensive than this plastic Canon body cap over at B&H. Sure, the Canon body cap doesn't have a place for an air tag, but why didn't they just make it out of plastic for less? It's not like I've ever broken a plastic body cap and thought to myself, Myself, boy, I wish this was made out of aluminum. Aluminum! On the other hand, the satellite is a hyperelastic silicon pouch. It has the strongest viscosity, 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 and smallest footprint on the market. It allows you to slide an air tag in and stick it almost anywhere, including up your ass, if you're into that kind of thing. And then you can find where your ass is. I guess my ass isn't that hard to find, as Steven tells me it's just massive. Now that's funny. On Kickstarter, you can get a four pack for $15 plus shipping. Oh yeah, and I, and I should mention that the body cap is only available in Sony E and Canon EF and RF mounts, as well as Cine PL mounts. Sorry, Nikon, Covered doesn't think you're worthy. We're not worthy! Now, if you think this product is worthy of backing, head on over to their Kickstarter. Next up, NASA is on its way back to the moon. As many of you know, I was down in Florida at Cape Canaveral for the launch of the Artemis 1 via the Space Launch System, AKA SLS. It's a lifestyle. Now what you might not know is NASA had 24 cameras on the rocket and spacecraft, eight on the SLS and 16 on the Orion. These cameras were meant to document mission events like liftoff, ascent, solar array deployment, external rocket inspections, landing and recovery, as well as images of the Earth and the moon. But my biggest question was, what cameras did they use? Pentax, of course. Phone call. I wonder who that could be. Oh, oh, it's Snoopy. Oh, you're in outer space right now, you say? That's great. Oh, it's not a Pentax? Okay, fine. Bye. Though I couldn't verify what all 24 cameras were via my NASA contact, I was able to verify that the one that took this image was a GoPro Hero 4 Black. But before I tell you more about why that is, I think this photo needs a little something. Taste the rainbow? Like Skittles! Bam! Just like that! Yeah, that's much better, don't you think? Before, and then Skittles. 
so much better. The reason NASA is using a camera from 2014 is this. They need to run rigorous tests on every component that will fly in space to make sure it can withstand all of the abuse that it will face. I don't know that if I can be in space with all the abuse I face on YouTube. No, no, I could, I passed that test. Now I actually got to photograph inside of an Orion capsule back in 2016 while photographing at NASA in Houston. You can even see a GoPro mount attached to the vehicle right here. Now, if I'm able to find out what other cameras are up there, I will be sure to let you know. By the way, here's one of the launch photos I was able to capture last week. If you'd like to purchase a signed and numbered print, head on over to bit.ly slash fro rocket and snag one of the last 10 that are left out of 50. Hey! Now, if you'd like to know more settings and how I captured this image, check out episode 25 of my podcast called Frono's Photo Raw Talk, which comes out every Friday, wherever you get your podcasts. On this week's podcast, we'll be discussing why NASA chose Nikon to fly on their past and future missions, so be sure to check that out. Now, before we get to the last story, I need to squeeze this in here real quick because I decided to run a few sales that will run from now through December 4th. First, if you've been looking to grab the triple play bundle of presets that includes Fro Pack 1, 2, and 3, and of course comes with Skittles, it's now 10 bucks off at checkout only when you go to fronosphoto.com slash fropack3. Simply add the triple play bundle to your cart. There's no code to enter. The discount is already there. Also, as a bonus, you will score 300 entries into the Super Huger Mega Camera Giveaway for your chance to spend $4,999 of my own money on anything you want at Allen's Camera if you win the grand prize. The other two deals, well, they're down below in the description. Again, this ends December 4th. Now, let's get to the last story. And finally, Sony's had to pull a new firmware update for the FX30 and FX3 after reports that in some rare cases, it will cause the camera to get trapped in a boot loop. Now, what does that look like, you may be wondering? Well, here, let me show you. Ah, I'm trapped in a boot loop. Ah, send help. And now you know. Actually, this is a boot loop. The camera just keeps trying to boot up and keeps failing time and time again. As soon as this was reported, Sony started investigating the issue. It was confirmed that some updated products might not operate properly in some cases. Distribution is suspended as we are currently investigating the cause. If the issue occurs immediately after the update, please ask for a repair. Okay, I will. Hi. I'd, I'd like a repair. Sorry, we're closed. Oh, you're closed for the holidays? Well, shit. The good news is not everyone who updated their cameras ran into this issue. The other good news is that the firmware didn't really address many fixes, so by not updating, you're not actually missing out on very much. Sony isn't the first camera company to have this issue, and they will not be the last, though they should all do a little bit of a better job. The moral of the story? I don't know. Maybe don't update your cameras for minor updates until everybody else tests it out for you as a guinea pig. And there you have it. That's your photo news fix this time around to check out the last fix go ahead and click on the screen right here don't forget don't eat turkey because turkey sucks it's dry it's horrible i eat chicken I'm like chicken parm and there you have it jared poland photo.com see ya